and we're coming to you live from the Knockout Zone. We are in the Knockout Zone, and we're having a quick podcast with the guys from IV Therapy. So we're saying, we're saying on the theme of therapy, and we're saying on the theme of IVs. So we've been talking to Bo Hightower. You know, I have to kind of lean forward. I have some big difficulties. But, um, so we've been talking on the theme of therapy, but first I want to take this one. So I want to take on nutrition. I want to take on optics. Source USA, Chris Kenzie's, and everybody else out there. We're in the Knockout Zone. You can hear all the pounding, all the padding, everything going on. It's super exciting. But I want to thank Diego and the Knockout Zone for hosting us. But I had an opportunity the other day. To, first it was Bo Hightower, then it was um, the uh, Dr. Cho, and now I had the chance to go to Body RX and I had a chance to get an IV, and we've been talking all week about therapy and athlete therapy, and I had the opportunity to have a conversation with Dave, he had an opportunity to talk to those guys, and get some understanding as to what is involved with athlete therapy, so I want to say hi. Thank you, friend. No problem. And I want to thank you, and I appreciate you taking the time to come down and give us some education on the important IV therapy, some of the things that you guys are doing down there at Body RX, and give me some insight. So, what Body RX, what are you guys doing, and what's so exciting about it? Well, I mean, Body RX, what we have going on here, it's so, it's so, so much fun, I just, I love this, it's, it's my passion, and you know, our comprehensive approach to health and wellness. I mean, we do everything from hormone optimization, weight loss, I did everything you mentioned, nutrition regimen, exercise regimen. We do physical so therapy, chiropractic, we do some stem cells and PRP. But as you know, our whole goal is preventative medicine. That's what Dave mentioned all about. It's not about aesthetics, it's not just about looking good, it's about fixing what's inside. Yeah, you look good, uh, but that's not the, the, the primary motive. The primary motive is to get you uh, feeling great, feeling uh, optimal, and, um, and prevent disease. So, a couple things. Um, I want to kind of highlight a few issues while we have some. Healthy, but Hello. Hello. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna sort out. The same way I'm with technical difficulties, we'll work through it. But um, I think everything you said. I'm not sure if everyone else said it. There's BS in me. But uh, Sean, you saying we're having technical difficulties? Let me see if we get some feedback. I mean, I heard it. I mean, I can hear myself. You can hear yourself on. now. Let's see. How was it now, Sean? It's choppy. Let me see. Test. You can hear me, John, right? But you sound a little shoddy. Test. Well, let me see if I can work through it. Maybe if I fix the, the, the mic. No, I don't think it's the signal. I think it's just maybe the mic. So, Sean, all right, I can get feedback from the, from the folks. Let me see. Let me try this. I'll, uh, no, I'll, I'll try this. I'll come right back. Weird. I never had that happen. I like that. All right, we are live, and we're coming to you live from the Knockout Zone. I want to thank Diego and the Knockout Zone and everybody over here. Can't thank you guys enough. I had the luxury of heading over to Body RX the other day, and we're staying on the theme of therapy and athletes in therapy. So we're broadcasting live from the Knockout Zone to talk a little bit about all the different therapies you can get. So I went over to Body RX the other day, located in Miami. I had the chance to get IV therapy. It's something I've been a huge proponent of for the last couple of years. I've had the opportunity to talk with JP and talk to some of the staff over there, and it was really an experience I couldn't um, explain. You know, when you get IV therapy, you're kind of, um, you know, sometimes it's on the run, on the fly, you're in the gym, and I've worked with Liquavita, I've worked with some of the different ones, they'll come to your house. I never had the opportunity really to go into a set place sure. and go through the experience. So um, first, let me thank all the sponsors. I want to thank Audit Nutrition, I want to thank Crossbreed Holsters, Right On Optics, Taurus USA, Kenzie's, and of course Canic USA. And I want to get right into it, and I want you to tell me about Body RX and tell me about some of the different therapies that you guys offer over there, and tell me why IV therapy is maybe the best, maybe the second best, maybe the third best, and where athletes should be using it. Well, I mean, Body RX is, we're, we're a very comprehensive um, age management center, health and wellness center. We do everything from hormone optimization, weight loss, IV therapy that you mentioned. Uh, nutrition regimen, exercise regimen, we do stem cells, PRP, a, a mix of different things. Uh, our main focus is health and wellness, uh, quality of life, preventing disease. And uh, with respect to IV therapy in, in athletes, I mean, it's one of the few things that they can do that's prohibited in their sport, most sports, um, except I guess maybe for the UFC. But everything that we put into the IVs are naturally occurring substances that, that, that are in the body or are things that are taken on the regular as far as nutrition goes, vitamins, amino acids, antioxidants. I mean, these are the fueling sources that really give the body what it needs uh, from a cellular level at the mitochondria to, to really uh, perform, number one, and to recover. So, I mean, some of our, our professional athletes come out there. We have some of the top boxers in the world that come visit us, and, uh, you know, they're doing this on the regular basis once a week. So it's phenomenal. I mean, IV therapy is great for, for, for athletes, but it's also great for the uh, everyday person because 
Uh, it's going to give you that natural energy boost that you can't get from uh, energy drinks and over overindulgence of caffeine. Plus, it can treat a lot of conditions that uh, traditional medicine can't. Uh, certain skin conditions. Um, it can help uh, patients going through cancer treatment to withstand their their chemotherapy. It's a huge immune booster. So, so many different uh, components to it. So. IV therapy is becoming incredibly popular the last few years, almost right. as popular as, you know, chiropractic treatment, massage therapy. Uh, how long, and I know there's a lot of people still in smaller towns, satellite areas that struggle to get access to it. How sure. long before you see it maybe in every chiropractor's office or you see it more mainstream? It's mainstream now, but for the folks out there that really haven't had the opportunity to do things like cryo or IV therapy, how long before we see it? Everywhere. I mean, I think it's coming really, really soon. I mean, I think there's a big pushback from uh, the everyday person that they're not going to be satisfied with traditional medicine because it's not working. Unfortunately, you know, our society is getting sicker and sicker. Um, you know, we're, we're dependent we're, on prescription drugs. Depending on prescription drugs, we're getting heavier as a society. Obesity is is skyrocketing. Um, diabetes is skyrocketing. So the system has failed us, unfortunately. Um, you know, we still need traditional medicine, but we need to be more proactive. And we need to use an integrative approach. And I think that with um, you know IV therapy expanding now into chiropractic offices, to different types of uh, naturopathic physicians, um, acupuncture physicians, um, I think this is going to be mainstream very, very soon. And I hope it, it gets to every single uh, city in the country. Quite frankly. Yeah, I mean that would that would definitely be something. How often should people be getting IV therapy? I've heard different. Um, Suggestions I've heard, you know, once a week if you're insanely active. I've heard once a month at a minimum to fully hydrate. I've heard so many different uh, philosophies. What do you suggest for one, maybe the average guy that's just a weekend warrior, sure. and two, maybe for the active athlete that's participating in not just strength and conditioning like here at the mm -hmm. Knockout Zone, but also um, maybe doing some weightlifting. Sure. So for the average person, we recommend um, a, a program that's going to be once a week for a month. So that's, there's that loading phase. And then you want to do a maintenance of once every two to four weeks, you know, ideally once a month after that so you can maintain those benefits. Now, if we're talking about the competitive athlete, professional athlete, uh, amateur, et cetera, you want to be ideally, in an ideal scenario, finances permitting, you want to be doing it once a week indefinitely because um, you're talking about 100% absorption rate. Now, granted, you should still be supplementing orally with certain vitamin supplementation, but you're never going to get that 100% absorption rate and the bioavailability throughout the whole entire body. Now they say like one IV, I've heard like so many differing opinions. They say one bag equals like drinking two and a half gallons of water. Mm -hmm. what's, the, what's the equivalent? What, well, give me a statistic somebody can grab onto as to what it gives you. Well, I mean, as far as equating to what it, how one IV treatment equates to to water supplementation. I really couldn't give you an accurate description of that, but... Um, it's going to leave you fully hydrated. Yeah, I mean, one, one bag of 500 mLs, you're going to be fully hydrated. Sometimes we'll add an additional 500 mLs um, if, you know, if it's a really active person, et cetera, if it's, a, if it's an athlete, but um, you should be good on 1,000 mLs, 500 being the vitamins, another 500 of just the fluids, and, um, and you're really good to go. And, and at the end of the day, what it's designed to do is increase performance. So for the boxer, let's say, we have tons of boxers who come to our clinic, it's gonna increase that punch output. And so they're gonna be more active in the fight, and obviously they, they get scored on, on compu box numbers, on, on punches landed, et cetera. And uh, it's gonna allow, allow them to be more active, plus recover in between rounds. And a lot of people don't know this, there's a lot of additives that you can put in the IV treatments. You can add things like a shot of this or a shot of that, vitamins, everything else. What are some of the common additives that people are, are using right now? What, what, what type of cocktail would you suggest for a first timer? So, I mean, the, the core foundation of any IV treatment, in my opinion, should have a minimum of vitamin C and glutathione. Vitamin C, everyone knows what vitamin C is. It's, it's a very prevalent endogenous, I'm sorry, exogenous um, antioxidant. So the body does not produce that. Then you're talking about glutathione. Glutathione is produced by every cell of the body. Uh, after the age of 20, we start to produce about 10% less per decade. And um, if we can maximize those two, um, your, your, your immune system is going to function better, your recovery is going to be better, inflammatory markers are going to go down. Then we start adding amino acids that are going to increase performance, metabolism, um, recovery, et cetera, et cetera, and then your B vitamins, your B complex. So if you can stick to, let's say, the vitamin C, glutathione, add in uh, some B vitamins, B12, um, 
and then you, you put in amino acids like glutamine, arginine, carnitine, um, that's a recipe for success right there. Yeah, I've always had the luxury of getting access to it when we traveled and when I was sponsored by GASP with Tony and working with the different nutrition companies. And of course, uh -huh. Blackstone located right uh -huh. up in Boca. Uh -huh. They were using Liquid Vita. I had the opportunity sure. to use all these different types of therapies, but it was mainly when I traveled as a way to kind of keep uh, everything sharp, everything ticking. So when we were right. traveling, when we were moving, where we, you want to make an appearance? You want to say hi? <laughs> you know, we, we thanked the knockout zone. We already did a piece on the knockout zone. So, you know, I had the opportunity to take advantage of some of the different therapies when I was traveling, when I was a part of all those different sponsored groups. Right. And I can honestly say traveling, it is fucking huge. It was yeah, 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 huge yeah. because wow. you're on the road, you're beating your body up, yeah, of course. you're going through the shit, you're training with this animal, you're training with, with Tony, you're on the range, you're just always moving. There's not enough time to drink 10 of these in a day mm -hmm. and you're just trying to go from one coffee or one bang or one monster to the next thing and it's just hard. So I would say to anybody out there, just my two cents, if you're traveling a lot and training a lot, it's definitely a therapy you want to take advantage of and definitely a therapy you need to have in your, your regimen. What other things are Body X, RX offering that maybe the, the users don't know about or the listeners don't know about and they should? Well, I mean, you know, because you guys got a whole office in there. You got yeah. labs, you got sport coats, yeah. you got people walking around, there's chemicals in there, there's people walking out with like a third leg. Right. There is something that needs some vitamin, super or something like a little bit taller. Diego's trying to get taller, so he's looking for the super soldier serum. So what else are they offering in there that, that people should be taking advantage of? And what, what, where does it go beyond the IV? Is right. I mean, the IV is a great foundational piece. I mean, you, you need to get your vitamin supplementation on point. But really, um, the main thing that, that it, it, everyone needs in their life, and it's Unfortunately, it's not recognized enough is hormone optimization. There's a lot of misconceptions about it. So for men, it's predominantly testosterone. And for women, it's the, that estrogen progesterone balance. And the thing about it is now more than ever, uh, we're being bombarded as a society by something called EDCs, endocrine disrupting chemicals. And it's more prevalent now than it's ever been. And it's, it's really caught wreaking havoc in our endocrine system. So if we're not fully hormonally optimized in a healthy way, not excessive and not with synthetics, but bioidentical hormone optimization that the body recognizes, then we're going to be at a disadvantage. We're not going to be functioning as well. Our mental game is going to be off. Our physical game is going to be off. We're going to be more prone to gaining weight, et cetera, et cetera. Do you get a lot of athletes in that are uh, all fucked up on the shit? Um, it, amateur? Yeah. Yeah, of course. That of you got to kind of go through a panel and of you got to do the blood work. It's, un it's unfortunate that you know, it's still prevalent in the gym society that people want to use hormones on their own. They don't want to come to an experienced professional because it's less expensive or what have you, or they don't want to go through the hassle of going to the doctor. But you're really playing with fire when you do that. That's what I'm getting at. The gym rat that's just going in and injecting himself with four bottles of shit. Yeah, yeah, And then yeah. they look like Diego. <laughs> you know, but, um, but seriously, I mean, to anybody out there, sure. Tony and I have had the opportunity, thankfully, as we traveled the country and worked with, with some of the best in the business mm -hmm. to, to, to get the types of therapy and to see the types of people that give you the mm -hmm. accurate information for you to process and make a good decision. Mm -hmm. Now, I talked to Dr. Bo Hightower, I talked to Joe from uh, Advanced Therapy in Miami, and everybody had a reoccurring theme. They said, when you go see someone, just like Diego brought up with going to a gym, mm -hmm. go see someone that's gonna sit with you and take the time and say, what the fuck do you want to train? Or what are you trying to accomplish? And right. sit with someone who's going to do an assessment and a diagnostic. Exactly. Is that something that you guys pride yourself on? Well, 100%. I mean, the, the first thing that someone does when they come in is they're going to sit down with a patient advocate and we're going to go over, you know, what brought them there in the first place. What's their chief complaint? And, you know, what are their goals? What do they, what do they want to accomplish out of everything? And then, obviously, there's certain benchmarks you got to, re you got to do to reach those goals. And everything starts at, at you know, at, at the blood level. we got to do blood work for your hormones, for... Your, your metabolic panel, micronutrient testing to see where you're deficient, um, as far as vitamins, amino acids, antioxidants, and we need to optimize everything in a healthy way. And then you're gonna sit down with, with our medical director, his name's Dr. George Herrera, and um, he's gonna go over all the results and, and make his suggestions. We'll sit back with a patient advocate and then we'll, we'll design a, a plan of action. And everything that we do is comprehensive and monitored. This is the uh, this is what's called concierge medicine. So this is not like your typical primary care doctor. We, we, don't, we don't do that. Everything is monitored and structured and, um, and you're followed up on a frequent basis. I asked Dr. Hightower this and I'm, I'm talking about this as, as a reoccurring theme as well. 
Do you feel that a lot of these things, especially hormone therapy, I mean, five years ago, it was crazy to be talking about this stuff. Now you have commercials, men with low T, you know, your dick don't work, whatever it is. Is it, I feel like it's all starting to come out of the shadows and be at the forefront and start to be a conversation. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a good thing. I mean, I feel like Very it's getting, an, yeah, I think it's a great thing and it's great for you guys and it's starting to have people have the adult conversation about what that entails and what's involved. Now, I know all of these therapies are expensive mm -hmm. and I have this conversation all the time with people and we talk about it. Where would you rate IV therapy in the totem pole of therapies now uh, you know there's massage therapy there's chiropractic therapy mm -hmm. that people need to get mm -hmm. there's cryotherapy mm -hmm. I'm not asking you to you know self-deprecate for a second and maybe say you should definitely be doing this and this mm -hmm. but if you can incorporate this at once a month like you said is that the place mm -hmm. uh, because I know you guys offer everything and where would you rate it on the totem pole uh, as far as the IV therapy goes I mean it's, it's extremely important I mean because you know, we can't get the vitamins and nutrients that, that we could in the past from food, even if you're eating completely right. organic, unfortunately. So I think you, the, the base, the foundation, you come in and, and you, would, you would do the IV therapy in conjunction with um, getting that blood work done to see where you're deficient at. And then you optimize um, at, at, with, with whatever your budget dictates. I mean, if you think about it in a practical sense, you know, I, I, they say that this treatment is expensive, and rightfully so, but how much money do we spend on a monthly basis on things that aren't really necessary, like eating lunch out every day or Star oh, sure. Starbucks yeah. every day? I mean, so we're spending anywhere probably the average person two to three hundred dollars a month on shit we don't need. When you know, if you think about it, the, your health is the most important thing in your life. You don't have health, you have nothing. I don't right. care how wealthy you are, uh, who you are. If you do not have health, you have you have zip. Yeah, and I think I think as you div get older, and I, and I say that I'm 37, so as I've kind of evolved, I'm doing more jujitsu, I'm doing more yeah. um, functional fitness, and I'm starting to perform more that way. I think it's most important to start to um, uh, y you have to start to dial in what I would call like personal health. I, look, I always try. I'm trying to coin a term, and I can't come up with one, but I kind of have said like what I call like inside out health. When you're young, you're just like, let me get in there and rip some weights, mm -hmm. or let me do this, or mm -hmm. let me do that, and it becomes like almost like aesthetic health. Mm -hmm. Like you can eat a hamburger and you burn it off in, in 30 seconds, but you have to start to look internally at what you're putting into your body, how you're taking care of your body, how to get the most out of it, because you're trying now to stretch. So to everybody, I, I think, mm -hmm. and you can tell me if I'm wrong, in that sure. 35 to 45 range, that's the, the key years, I feel like, to start to really, you know, see what you're going to get out of your body into build 50 that, and 60. Build, yeah, build, build that, that foundation. That foundation, mm -hmm. you know. Every, everybody's going to eat pizzas. And, you know, what I'm trying to get at is yeah. to everybody out there that, like, you know, you're eating pizzas and you're eating takeout. Everybody does that till 25, <laughs> 28 years old. At some point, when are you going to turn the page and dial in? When do yeah. you feel that is and, and how do you feel the, you know, taking the steps towards that do you, do you am i crazy or is there a window where you have to build that base? well you know i i definitely think I, I believe in moderation i mean i can't i don't believe in being extreme i mean I, I like to have a hamburger every so often or a pizza every so often um and and i wouldn't say i, I would encourage everyone to start as, as young as possible healthy habits because obviously you want to create those building blocks at a very young age you don't sure. with the obesity epidemic for the pediatric population i mean um but as far as is what the age group that you mentioned, 35 to 45, I mean, you really, that's the time period where, okay, if it's I can- It's the last chance. Yeah, if that's I can, what I think. If I can get things on point here, then, you know, God willing, I'm gonna have a very good long-term future. I won't end up in a nursing home. I'll have a quality of life until I'm in my 80s, 90s, years old, hopefully. And um, at the end of the day, it's all about quality of life. It's not about longevity. It's about a healthy longevity is what I'm trying to say. And you have to take, you're saying, um, personal health, it's really that self-initiative that say, hey, listen, I'm not going to depend on my primary care doctor. I'm going to take the initiative and go out and seek personal health. I'm going to take personal responsibility for my own health. You know, at BodyRx, we're here to help you, but you have to come, you have to meet us halfway. I have a question. How, you know, for everybody out there, I think they would, would want to know this. How did you get into this and how did the Body RX practice So, Because there might be some people out there that are like, sure. geez, I'd love to have my shop offer this. You know what I mean? Do, like do I have what now? My shop or my chiropractic. Like, uh, oh, maybe, they okay, go, okay, okay. maybe they own a massage parlor. Maybe okay, they own okay. Massage, how, okay. Can they contact Body RX and, and how did you get into it? <laughs> well, okay, so uh, the owner, the main owner, Steven Sevilla, is a good friend of mine. Um, known him for uh, at least probably a decade now. 
and he started Body RX um, as an entrepreneur. I mean, he got into the business, he learned it, and he just did it. I mean, 11 years ago, he started it, and it's grown today to two very large locations that do very well, and we're going to add a third, and, and, and hopefully we can franchise our model. I mean, that would be, I guess, the, uh, the answer to your question. I mean, in the future, we'd like to be able to do a lot of consulting so that we can bring this nationwide. This isn't about competition. There's enough patience for everyone. Everybody can do well, but we want people to do it the right way. And what, what I hate to see out there on the market is all of these different sales tactics to lose weight, this, that, and the other. It's not a comprehensive approach. And uh, I've been uh, an advocate of health and wellness for many, many years. Um, my degree is in business from University of Florida. Um, I also went back to school to become a paramedic and because uh, I have a, a long list of, of family members in the medical field. And then I got into medical sales, medical management, and then I, and then I started working with Steven, and, and this is where I need to be. I mean, I'm very passionate about this. I really want to educate people about how they can uh, improve on their health and that there is hope for a lot of conditions that otherwise people think that they're hopeless. We got a question coming in from Daryl, and I know um, it looks like a complicated one. I have a question. I get Andro shots and use Andro gel. I have been for so... At have been, I, I don't know what you're trying to say to Daryl, but it looks like eating healthy and stuff but makes me gain weight. It's all prescribed because of my pituitary tumor. I, I would say, Daryl, and I'll get your thoughts. I, sure. I, I would say, Daryl, I think they want you to gain weight because if you have a pituitary tumor, you have some type of cancerous cells in there, and I would think that they wouldn't want you losing weight. You know, I know, Daryl, you've dealt with some health issues because you've been chiming in all week on this stuff. Yeah. I mean, what do you say? So, if, if, first thing is blood work, and we really need, we really need to look at um, his levels, his prolactin levels, and if, if there's a, definitely a pituitary tumor, he, he's going to need to follow up with an endocrinologist. And, um, you know, he, I think he had mentioned something about andro gel. Andro gel is probably one of the worst things you could do as far as testosterone uh, delivery system. I, I, don't like, I don't like the gel either. I've yeah. heard a lot of uh, bad things. I've never used the gel myself, but I've heard a lot of bad things well, about it. Well, the gel, the gel actually does not work, but there's something called a transcrotal testosterone cream that does work that I'm on. There's a new formulation out there um, that the top optimization doctors in the country are using, like Dr. Neil Ruzier, Dr. Keith Nichols, et cetera. And um, that delivery system is phenomenal. I mean, it's, it's done every day. It's a microdose, and it's mimicking your body's own natural release of testosterone. So uh, for my, my, my first piece of advice for this gentleman would be, Let's do blood work. Let's see where your levels are at. And if we need to refer you to a specialist, we will. Because if it is a tumor in nature, then we need to get you over to an endocrinologist and potentially a surgeon. Daryl said he's chubby now. I mean, Daryl, that could be a little diet related. There's so many wormholes you could go down with that. Um, definitely want to get more info. And you definitely, and you know, maybe that leads to a better question. When folks go to doctors and they just get prescribed this stuff, and that maybe is what tends to happen. Okay. It's, it's, it's Practicing medicine through prescription. Sure. Um, and this happens a lot. Maybe they should take some time to go see specialists like you guys. And I'm a huge believer in that. When I had my pec tear and I had a major injury, uh -huh. I, had, I, I went to my old trainer because I had to go to a PT guy that dealt with athletes because right. they would have said to me, oh, you're not supposed to lift that much weight. Or, well, the damage is, you know, your BMI is too high or this or that. Mm -hmm. They don't really fully understand working with athletes. I think Daryl opens up a bigger wormhole question. Doctor says X, prescribes a bunch of gel and says go home. <laughs> Client gets heavy or gets out of shape. Yeah. They should be sitting with you guys. Well, I believe that. Yeah, I mean, 100%. I mean, unfortunately, they, these, these physicians, um, they're, not, they're not trained in age management. I mean, uh, majority of them are just primary care doctors, family medicine, internal medicine, and, um, and they're just not well-versed in it. I mean, this is, a, this is a very complex field, and if you're just doing it without the knowledge, then you can cause more harm than good. I agree with that. I, yeah. I agree with that wholeheartedly. I, I, I think there's a huge gap in what we call general or primary care physicians and working with someone who specializes in an area that maybe you're struggling. And I, and I talk about that a lot. It's a reoccurring theme with me. I talk about subject matter experts all the time. And I've traveled this country and trained and been around some of the best in the world at what they do. And I've had the opportunity to absorb so much information from them. And I, and I tell everybody, it's like adjusting your learning curve. It's like taking your curve and, and yes, if you hang out at the local gun range or local gym, you'll get maybe this much better at something. You know, maybe 2%, maybe 4%. Maybe but if you hang around 
With Jay Cutler, obviously you're gonna get exponentially better at bodybuilding and training. For sure. If you hang around with Body RX, you're gonna obviously begin to optimize and understand hydration, treatment, hormone therapy, chiropractic, that anything that you can think of. Yep. If you spend time at the knockout zone and train with Diego, you're gonna get an opportunity to learn all different types of mixed martial arts. Exactly. So you're gonna get a little bit of everything. So I think, you know, there's a huge gap when people go to Joe Physician, and I'm not knocking the medical community, um, and they just say, yeah, you know, you have low T, I'm gonna give you this cream, go home, sure, and let sure, me know sure. how it goes. Sure, sure. And the doctor goes on vacation to Barbados because he gave away so <laughs> many creams. And don't act like that doesn't happen because it fucking does. And that's that's how it works. I mean, they've done a good job tightening up on that, but it does yeah. happen. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, uh, Pfizer will send them away. So, you know, I think you guys need to take a minute, and Daryl opens a bigger wormhole. Take a minute, you know, if your doctor does uh, prescribe you something or you're dealing with an issue like that, I think it's wise to go see some SMEs, and you guys are the subject matter experts. Yeah, I mean, and the thing about it is, um, you know, unfortunately, you know, people want to go the, the least expensive route possible. So if they were to go to the primary, they had a prescription for testosterone, and whatever, they pay their copay, 20, 30 bucks, whatever it is. And like, oh, well, I, I don't need to go to see a specialist like you guys. I'm good on, on testosterone. I got the prescription. And, and I say, well, okay, that's, that's phenomenal. That's great. But the problem is there's, it's so much more than just testosterone. And, right. you know, there's other components involved, obviously. But let's just stick on testosterone for a second. For, for a second. Are you on the correct testosterone? Are you on the right dosage? Um, do you know the frequency of delivery? Do you know the other medications involved with the protocol? Do you know about other hormones that need to be optimized when you're giving testosterone? Do you know about micronutrient testing? All these different things. It's not just one thing or the other. And that's what I'm saying. I hate these ads that just focus on one thing. Okay, just take this pill. Just eat this diet and lose weight. Because it's all a sale. And that's I, we don't do that. We're not trying to sell anybody. All we want to do is educate uh, our patients and then let them make the decisions from there based on their own due diligence. Now, I know, Daryl, you, you gave us your proactin proacti levels. We're not going to do, uh, we can't do like Wikipedia medical here or whatever. I'm <laughs> sure medical, but I mean, no offense, but I mean, w we, he would have to do a full assessment. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. He needs to follow up with, with a, a specialist, endocrinologist, neurologist, and, um, and get that squared away. Could your estrogen levels be elevated because of weight gain? Sean, that's a good question, and I, I, I believe the answer is yes. Oh, right? 100%, 100%. 100%. I mean, I think probably also another misconception out there, and I was just at the Age Management Medical Group Conference in Doral last month, and estrogen is not necessarily a bad thing uh, when, when it's increased with testosterone. Um, estrogen at baseline is um, really not the issue either. It's the visceral fat that's causing all of the, the problems. I mean, there's a lot of misconceptions out there, especially mm. with when we're talking about aromatase inhibitors or estrogen blockers. Um, so. Uh, that's another reason why I encourage people, listen, go seek a professional, don't do this on your own, uh, and don't go to a, just a general primary care doctor because more often than not, it's gonna do more harm than good. Yeah, I mean, I think the, I think the reoccurring theme is, is you gotta get in there and you gotta get an assessment. You can't do, we can't do medical treatment from, from here. No. We're just trying to give you guys a path and give you guys a, a, some insight into, sure. into where to go and where to begin, really. It's kinda like, you know, when we're talking about Bo Hightower, it's like, you know, if I lay this way and I do, you have to you have to really go see and go in and get your medical panel done, get your blood work done, and have these guys give you some advice. And, and my whole thing is this: I mean, you know, I, I, obviously, I, I I know what we do at BodyRx is is um, you know super comprehensive and and we do we give great care. But I mean, if there's people in different parts of the country that are looking to get access uh, to this, and you want to. Uh, and you want to work with us, we can, we can work with patients in, in different states. We actually do that, and we work with patients in different countries. So there is telemedicine, but I also say to people, listen, if you want to work with a local physician close to where you are, that's great. Just make sure that they're qualified and, and a member of, of a reputable uh, age management organization. I mean, if you have the means, and, and you know, everybody loves a trip down to a, down a Florida, or if you have the means, or, or, or Miami, to, to go and seek out, maybe it's not Body RX, but maybe you call Body RX and say, is there a reputable place I'm in my area? Exactly. And that kind of gets the ball rolling. I always encourage that because, you know, get a referral. You know, get a referral from somebody. Hey, you know, we know these guys. We'll send somebody down. I know that they wouldn't mind doing that. What shop doesn't? So, you know, don't hesitate to reach out. And 
you know, with that being said, where's the best place everybody can reach Body RX and maybe reach you guys for questions or if they're in town and they want to come in, how quick is the assessment and how fast can? I mean, it's 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 very it's very quick. I mean, we can it, sometimes we get to you same day appointments um, if if the schedule permits. But I mean, you can always um, send us uh, an email at info at bodyrxmiami.com. Uh, go to our website uh, bodyrx. Uh, Antiaging.com, and you can um, get all the contact information for both locations. Um, I'm available. Uh, I'm very accessible to patients and willing to talk to you over the phone. Um, it, like I said, this is not about selling. I mean, I, I really do. I am very passionate about this, and I, I'm, and I do want to help people. And I think that this is um, one of the best ways to impact um, health in, in our society today. Sure, and I know you guys offer everything, and we stayed on the, the theme mostly of IV therapy. Uh, you know, we talked about chiropractic medicine, we talked about uh, hormone therapy, we've talked about a few different things with some of the different guys on, and I know now, you know, we were focusing a little bit on IV therapy, but you guys do have a fantastic office, and I had an awesome time going around in there, meeting the guys, meeting the gals, and getting to understand your process, and they took me through... I think it was like 47 pages, no, it wasn't 47 pages, but it was uh, quite a few pages of an assessment <laughs> and kind of asked me why I was there. And, and, you know, even though I was getting a simple IV and I was a guy who's had probably four dozen of them, it was still kind of nice to have someone sit with me and ask a few questions and kind of get into details and show me the menu and break down what I could get in it. And really, you can get almost anything you want in these IVs at this point. And I yep. know there's some good and bad and controversial stuff. People are doing stem cells now in the IVs. People are doing this. People are doing that. And I know um, there's a whole multitude. But the basic, uh, I believe it was athlete recovery, which, which mm -hmm. I did, sure. was a great one. And uh, if you haven't, guys, if you haven't had the opportunity, I know everybody that makes it on a trip to Vegas or makes it on a trip to, to Florida at some point, you know, Check it out. I guarantee you. I did this after SHOT Show one year. I went and I actually spent the money, walked in like a stranger. So to those of you that think I don't pay for everything, <laughs> I walked in like a stranger. And uh, I paid and had an IV before I flew home out of, out of Vegas. I was just tired, run down, beat up from SHOT Show, walking the show floor for five days. I felt like I had fucking AIDS. And I went and I, uh, I got you know the IV therapy and I hydrated myself yep. and, and I, I beat the SHOT Show flu. I mean, when you go to these shows and these conventions, yeah. you're always getting sick so if I, I got home and I felt like a million bucks so I think it's important you know I always say at least try it once you know try it see how you feel the next day see how it makes you feel that second and third day I guarantee you're gonna see great results and it's gonna hit a home run for you so I'll give you JP the final final word um, yeah we talked about where everybody can find you leave everybody with a lasting impression on they're walking in the first time to get a treatment at a facility like yours or any facility really for therapy and I talked about this with the other guys what are the questions they should be asking and how should they be deciding if this is a place they should trust somebody with a needle coming at them well I mean first thing you <laughs> first thing you want to do when you walk in is um, say you know are you guys credentialed I mean which which organizations are you affiliated with American Academy of Anti-Aging Age Management Medical Group uh, Worldlink Medical etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, do you have a medical director? Um, who is he? Who is she? Etc. And then, you know, where are you getting your products from? Because product quality is super important. I mean, I think there's a lot of places out there, unfortunately, that are just getting the cheapest products out there, and they don't know if it's if it's sterile. They don't know the quality of it, and they're infusing into people, and sure, they're sure. all about the money. Sure. And so, you know, the, these are questions that you have to ask. You obviously you look at reviews online with Google and Yelp. I mean, those are very very strict and hard to get, and so. Ours are, are, are top notch, thank God. And, um, you know, I think you can kind of get a feel too when you talk to the staff um, how people are, if they have that genuineness about them right. or not. And then, uh, and then you make your decision from there. Yeah, I mean, don't just walk in a place, guys, and if they have a lab coat on, like, assume, like, ah, <laughs> oh, it's good to go, you know? No. Um, and it, it starts to turn into, like, a skit from there. Like, behind the walls is, like, you know, some guy with, like, you know, puppet strings. Yeah. So, you know, make sure you ask the questions. What's a huge red flag? Like, so, like once you hear this or see this, and you should run for the door. Well, um, you know, obviously, if, if there's no medical director, no MD or DO uh, mm. as medical director there, I mean... Red it, flag. Yeah, because you can't just go into, let's say, any old place, and uh, Joe Schmo is doing the IVs, and he's the medical director. I mean, um, that was the whole deal with the Tony Bosch situation. Yeah. I mean, he was playing doctor, and he's not a, he's not a medical doctor. That is hilarious, by the way, and yeah. I'm, I'm glad you brought it up, yeah. that whole story. As sad as it is, yeah. is as funny as it is. He's walking around yeah. with the lab coat and the stethoscope, and he had... Yeah. Uh, 
what was it, a doctorate from like the back of a matchbook or something? He like yeah. filled something out and was like, I'm a doctor. It's really a shame because, I mean, that guy's super knowledgeable and he could have used his talents for good. But, I mean, he decided to go a certain path. He paid for it. And, you know, hopefully now he's, he's on the straight and narrow. Yeah, he'll be on infomercials at midnight, I'm sure. He's quite the personality. But I, uh, that, that movie, the screwball movie, I can't wait to see that. Yeah. That does look like something very interesting. And it started right here in Miami, which is funny enough. But, um, you know, it, it, there's a lot of that. And you guys do got to be careful. And you got to be careful of no medical director for sure, just like JP said. But I would definitely say be careful of, like, the gym rat, too, trying to give you medical oh advice. God. That's another one, guys. And, and I can tell you, you know, that's definitely something to be careful of. Make sure if you're talking to people, whether it's about therapies or gear or anything that you're getting into, and I'm, I'm genuinely saying this from the heart to everybody out there that thinks they're just going to boot up a bunch of stuff or they're going to run their own IV or they're going to do something crazy. And, and I'm being serious with all you guys. Go in and make sure you see a facility like Body RX. Don't screw around. Don't try to play armchair doctor. You know, make sure you get the treatment. Don't sit at home and think, you know, oh, I'll have my friend crack my back or I'll do it. Just go see somebody and go have a conversation. Even if you can't afford it, most of the time the consultation and filling out the paperwork is on the house. Oh, 100%. I mean, the, the initial consultation is complimentary, and we're happy to sit down with you for as long as you need to discuss everything. You know, it's, Yeah, it's and most of the time these guys, you guys, they'll, they'll work with you on the first visit, if, whether you want to do an IV or you want to get a full pan. They'll work with you. Just you got to talk to them. There's always financing. There's always ways to do things. For sure, so don't, for sure. Don't jump the gun and think, I totally can't afford this. Yeah. yeah. One, one final thought that I wanted to say for the, for the competitive athlete, the professional athlete out there, I mean, you know, I, I want them to know that there is a way to optimize performance in a healthy way that meets the guidelines of their sport. You don't have to turn to steroids. You don't have to turn to illegal substances. You can get on a regimen of vitamins, amino acids, antioxidants um, through different methods, whether they're IV therapy, injections, oral route that it will optimize performance and you will notice a huge difference. So you don't have to go and think, well, if, am I, if I have to compete at this high level, I have to cheat. No, you don't. Right. You can do things the proper way and we've proven it with the, the caliber of personnel that come through our office. Sure. Well, I appreciate you and I appreciate having Thanks for having me, me my man. It was, it was definitely fun. awesome and educational for these guys. But I want to thank the sponsors. I want to thank Right On Optics, Kenzie's Optics, Taurus USA, Crossbreed Holsters, Body RX, of course, yeah. Knockout Zone, yeah. and everybody out there. And of course, Diego for loaning us the gym for the afternoon. I had a blast. I had an awesome time learning about all this stuff and getting a chance to spend some time. I did not just run into him and do an interview. I actually <laughs> went in, went through the process, <laughs> took the IV, and I know it's been a huge part of Tony's training and a huge part of everything that he does and the guys here at, at, at Knockout Zone. I know Gregory Joplin was running around already looking for you to see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, he walks in here and he's already going to be, you know, commandeered for a half hour. So, you know, definitely make sure, guys, go check out Body RX, head over to the website, head over to the IG, Body RX Miami. I thank you guys, and hopefully you guys got some information out of this. I'll be going live again shortly, uh, so I appreciate everybody, everybody out there. I'm going to sign off. If you have any questions for Body RX, anything else, don't hesitate to leave it in the comments below. I'll make sure they take a look and uh, be sharing it with them, and make sure you head over and show them some love on the IG and everything. So thanks, guys. Remember to like and subscribe. I appreciate everybody. Awesome.